What's up, YouTube? This is Thomas from Thomas Invest and thank you for watching. Today I want to talk about undervalued stocks under and around the $10. These stocks can be undervalued for several reasons. Because of the potential in the market or industry, big revenue growth and maintain this growth in the future, or because they are undervalued based on the free cash flow they have. All stocks are traded on the US stock market, but their business is in China or mostly focused on China. You can see the ticker symbol in the description below. Please comment your thoughts on these stocks. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a video. I also appreciate an early thumbs up, which helps me within the YouTube algorithm. For now, let's dive into it. The first company on my list is Finvolution, ticker symbol F-I-N-V. Finvolution Group is a leading fintech platform in China, connecting undeserved borrowers with financial institutions. Established in 2007, the company is a pioneer in China's online consumer finance industry and has developed strong innovative technologies and has accumulated in-depth experience in the core areas of its credit risk assessments, fraud detection, big data and artifactual intelligence. The company's platform features a highly automated loan transaction process, which enables a superior user experience. As of June 30, 2021, the company had over 130 million cumulative registered users. The reason why I think Finvolution might be undervalued is because of their future-proof business and because of their revenue growth and free cash flow growth. Since 2016, the revenue grew more than 470%, which is amazing. Back in 2016, they were generating only 160 million a year. In the most recent quarter, they earned 344 million. So it's only going up from here. The net income isn't growing in the same pace as the revenue, so we have to keep an eye on that. But it grew more than 300% since 2016, so no big deal. And Finvolution has a profit margin of still 33%, so I'm not worrying that much. Another thing which makes this a great company is the free cash flow growth. The free cash flow is used to paying down debt, do acquisition, research and development, and in the last part, buying back shares and pay dividends. The last two are not interesting right now for this company, but acquisition, research and development are very important and they have enough free cash flow to do so. Right now, Finvolution has a five year average free cash flow of 250 million. I use an average multiple of 20 and we see that they are undervalued by 200% based on the free cash flow, meaning their fair value will be around $18 a share. Currently, I don't own any shares of Finvolution, but I think it's a very interesting company and I'm doing some more research to see if this company is a buy for me. Right now, I do believe this company is massively undervalued, so I'm going to do some more research and put them on my watch list. Besides doing more research, I also want to evaluate if I'm comfortable having Chinese stocks. So if you have any experience with having Chinese stocks or any advice, please let me know in the comments. The next company on the list is Tencent Music Entertainment Group, ticker symbol TME. TME is the leading online music entertainment platform in China. They offer online music and music-centered social entertainment services with the four famous music mobile apps in China. QQ Music, Kugo Music, Kugo Music and WeSing. To over more than 800 million highly diverse and engaged users. They offer a comprehensive suite of online music entertainment products which allows users to enjoy a broad range of engaging and entertaining music experience, including discovering, listening, singing, watching, performing and socializing. With different music services fully integrated into one platform, users not only listen to the music on their platform, but also sing karaoke with friends or watch live performance. This is also an interesting company because their business is future-proof in my opinion. And besides having a good business, they also do grow their revenue and free cash flow a lot in the last couple of years. First of all, the revenue. Since 2016, the revenue increased by 570%. The net income grew more than 5,000%. But it has to be said that in 2016, they were making little profits, so I wouldn't be surprised that much about this profit growth. But the profit margin grew by 700% since 2016, so right now they do have a profit margin of 14%. Another great thing about this company is that in their last 5 years, 
they didn't really issue a lot of shares, so you won't be diluted that much and your piece of the pie stays pretty much the same. If we take the last 4 year average free cash flow and use a mid multiple, we see that this company is undervalued by 34% based on the free cash flow. As said before, free cash flow is used to pay down debt, buy back shares, do acquisitions, research and development and pay dividends. It's the same story with Finvolution. I do have to do some more research and right now I don't have any shares of TMI. I will put TMI on my watch list and maybe I will buy them when I finish my research. The last company on my list is FIP Shop Holdings, ticker symbol VIPS. Trading at $12.88 a share, so just above the $10 mark. FIP Shop is an online discount retailer for brands in China. The company offers branded products to consumers in China through flash sales on its fibshop.com, fib.com and other websites. Flash sales represent an online retail format combining the advantage of e-commerce and discount sales through selling a quantity of discounted products or services online for a limited period of time. It deals in a wide range of products and services for consumers specializing in branded cosmetics, apparel, healthcare products, foods and other consumer products. Its operating segment includes VIP.com and Shenzhen outlets. The company generates maximum revenue from VIP.com segments. Since 2016 the revenue grew more than 75%, the profit growth by 190% and the profit margin is at 6% right now, which is typical for a retail e-commerce store. The free cash flow grew more than 350% since 2016. And if we use the last 3 year average of the free cash flow, which I believe are fair to use, we see that right now Fibshop has a 3 year average of 1 billion market cap based on the free cash flow. If we use a mid multiple, we see that the fair market cap is 21 billion. They currently have a 9 billion market cap, meaning they are undervalued by 133% based on the free cash flow and have a fair value of $30. Right now they are at $13. I do believe in this business and it's again the same story as with the other stocks we discussed. I don't own any shares and I do have to do some more research but right now it's looking good. I will put this company on my watch list and when I finish my research I will see if this company is still interesting enough to me. My conclusion is that there are a lot of undervalued stocks outside the US. You can't ignore other countries in my opinion but you still have to ask yourself if you feel comfortable by investing in Chinese companies. The three companies that we've discussed are, are all undervalued in my opinion and already have a decent history of growth. I believe in the business but it has to be said that I'm not sure if I feel comfortable by investing in companies outside the US. This is something I still need to figure out. If you have any experience please let me know in the comments. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or our YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.